renowned physicist Stephen Hawking, dead at the age of 76, according to his family. The English native is known for his work in black holes and the field of quantum physics. Fox senior, senior foreign affairs correspondent Amy Kellogg takes a closer look at the life of the famed scientist. British physicist Stephen Hawking exploded onto the world stage with some big theories of his own. In a brief history of time, a 1988 runaway best-selling book turning complex matter into relative simplicity for the masses. He set the agenda for science today by uniting the two great theories of the universe, relativity and quantum theory. Born in 1942 in Oxford, England, Hawking wasn't a whiz kid in the classroom growing up and didn't really get serious about his studies and physics until his college years at Cambridge. During that time, he was diagnosed with ALS, Lou Gehrig's disease, the debilitating disorder, robbing him of mobility, confining his body to a wheelchair, his voice eventually to a machine. Being on a ventilator has not curbed my lifestyle. His quest to explore and experience insatiable, including this 2007 zero gravity flight. Hawking concluded our universe began about 15 billion years ago with a big bang, time starting simultaneously. Ultimately, the universe will collapse, he argued, while time marches on until the end. Given just two years to live after falling ill at age 21, Stephen Hawking packed an incredible lifetime of achievement in the decades that followed, beating the odds.